Shalom. This is Brother Kapayam from GMS Toronto. Um, I'm out here in Cayman Islands, as you can see. Okay. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a lesson on how the Lord Jesus Christ, the one you know as Jesus Christ, which is real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, how he came and died for the nation of Israel. So I'm gonna get into the scriptures and um, get back to y'all. Alright, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. All right, from the GMS Toronto camp. Um, we would like to say all praises to Yahweh B'Shem Yahushai. Double honors to the elders of uh, Great Millstone. And uh, shalom to the brothers on the four corners of the earth. Um, my name is Brother Kapayim. Brother Kabar All right, and um, this lesson today, we're going to show and prove that, uh, that the Lord, who you may call Jesus Christ, which his name in Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, and his father's name is Yahweh, died for the nation of Israel. All right, so we're gonna get this uh, first scripture. This is Luke chapter one, verse 67. And this, and his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied saying, blessed be the Lord power of Israel for he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. A horn of salvation for us, all right? In the, in the house of his servant David, keep going. <clears throat> As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. So, so where do you have to go to know who hates us? Psalms 83, these nations hate us. Who, who, who are our enemies? Psalms 83, it lists out all the nations. All right? So that's who that's who we need to be saved of. All right? That's who Yahweh Shai came and, um, and um, died for. All right? To save us from our enemies. Keep on. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life and thou child shall be called the prophet of the highest for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways yeah, and then I got I got a precept here all right, this is um, Isaiah, Isaiah 11, and I'm gonna start from uh, from one. All right. Um, and there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. All right. And who is that talking about? Because Jesse, Jesse is um. Is, is the grandfather of um, of David, all right? And um, oh yeah, that's his father. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, and um, yeah. So so it's talking about the house of David, just like uh, the scripture said. All right. So that stem that that will come out of uh, Jesse is um, is Yahweh Jesus. All right. And then. Um, and the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. All right? And, it, and um, a lot of people talk about they love the Lord. All right? The Most High is looking for fear. All right? And then um, a lot of people are out there saying, um, yeah, they love the Lord, but yet they don't keep his, uh, they don't keep his commandments. All right. Some people say, "Oh, I love myself," but you're, you're not keeping the Lord's commandments. You're eating pork. You're doing all type of abominations to your body. So, how, so how do you really love yourself according to the scriptures? All right. Or how do you love um, people around you? 
okay? Because you can say, oh, oh, I love my brother. Oh, oh, I love my black people. I love my Latino people. But then um, when you loan money to somebody, you, you tell them that, that, that they got to pay interest on it. All right, which is usury, which is going against the scripture. So then how, how do you really love them? love um, your people how do you love your brother all right when you're using usury on them all right and shall make him of a quick understanding in the fear of the Lord and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes neither reprove after the hearing of his ears all right so that's what you, you have to be a spiritual man all right it tells you that uh, the spiritual man judges all things but, the, I mean, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with, uh, what's this word? Equity for the, equity. For the oh, equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the, slay the wicked. And the righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins and faithfulness the girdle of his reins the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the fatlings together so this is going into the kingdom and the little child shall lead them and what's that little child that's an israelite child all right he's not going to have fear of these animals like we have today and the cow and the bear shall feed their young ones shall lie down together and the lion shall eat straw like a like the ox and the suckling child shall play on the hole of the apse and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice then they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain which is uh, the land of Israel all right for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an enzyme of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. Alright, so who's that root? That's talking about Yahweh. And as you keep reading, you'll see that um, these tribes are going to be brought back together and these nations are going to be subdued and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people who is his people Israel all right which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea all right so our people are scattered out on, on the four corners of the earth all right um assyria is um is uh is uh is, is around the mesopotamia area iraq you know those type of areas okay um you have you have people black iraqis all right people that were brought there from the arab slave trade all right um, it said Cush, Cush. You have um, Israelites who lived in, um, who lived in, uh, who come from East Africa. All right. You got, you got um, certain brothers in different camps that come from East Africa. All right. Then after it said Egypt, you know, you have some of our people down there because um, the Alexandria, you know, that was a large um, Israelite community back in those days. All right, so you have a remnant, and then the Isles of the Sea, you know, what what, what Isles? You know, you got um, you got um, Ireland. All right, you got Sicily, you got Malta, you got the Azores. All right, dealing with um, the port, the, the Portuguese islands. You got uh, Cape Verdean. You got um, uh, Saint Thomé. All right. So, the, so those are the Isles of the Sea. And he shall set up an enzyme for the nations and shall and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The, 
Um, let's deal with that um, word dispersed. Um, can you get um, John, John 7 and, um, and 35? John 7 and 35. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go, that we shall not find him? Uh, okay, can you just start up at um, at three? So, uh, uh, no, actually, thirty-two, thirty-two. Um, yeah, thirty-two, seven and thirty-two. John seven and thirty-two. The Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him, and the Pharisees and the chief priests and officers to take him. Then said Yahweh unto them, Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am, thither ye cannot come. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go, that will, that we shall not find him? Mm -hmm. Will he go on to disperse among the Gentiles, and teach yeah. the Gentiles? Okay, so we're, we're going to have to slow that down, because some people, they might not understand what's going on. Alright, so... What, what Jesus was saying unto them was going over their head. They were understanding what he was saying, all right? So they're, so they're thinking, oh, is he going to go um, to the dispersed, all right? What are the dispersed? That's the diaspora of, of Israel, all right? The dispersed um, who, who are among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles. So who, so who is that? And um, who, who are these? two Gentiles, all right? The first the first one, all right, which the dispersed is among, is talking about the other nations. And then the, the one that the Lord is gonna go teach are Israelites in a Gentile state of mind. Can you get Matthews 10, 10, 5, and 6? Matthews 10 and 5. These scroll, Yahweh shall I send forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, mm -hmm. but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So that's who that's who the Lord commanded the twelve to do. Alright. So who are we supposed to take examples from? From the Lord. Alright. So that's so that's his word. Don't go on don't go on to the Gentiles. So so who, who the Pharisees were, were saying that he was going to go on to and teach was the diaspora, all right, who was in a Gentile state of mind, okay? Um, I got script. You have proof script? Okay. You know? This is Deut Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all the people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither down or thy fathers have known even wood and stone yeah. yeah so the lord is going to scatter us on the four corners of the earth what did we read in isaiah 11 and um 11 and uh, 12 um was that um judah is dispersed on the four corners of the earth all right and the outcasts of israel to assemble them all right to go on to all these nations and assemble the outcasts of israel all right so i got this scripture here yeah. Um, this is this is Ephesians 2 2 and 11 alright wherefore wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh alright so if you're born um, another nation in the flesh alright how, how could it be that all of a sudden you're you're um, you're you're something different now, because it says, "Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh." So how could you be another nation before now? Now, now you're something different. All right. Who are called uncircumcision, right? Who are being called Gentiles, heathens? All right. By that which is called the circumcision. All right, so those are the, the Israelites who knew that they were Israelites. They're calling other Israelites who are not into the into um, 
into the customs of the Bible no more. They're into Greek philosophy, Roman philosophy, um, Hamitic philosophies. Okay? They're, they're being called uncircumcision. Alright? In the flesh made by hands. That at that time, ye being without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Alright? So, so what's... Okay, how, how, how could... How could you be alien from the commonwealth unless you're 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 part of the commonwealth? All right, that's what that's what he's explaining. All right, because he's saying that you were, you were in time past acting like a gentile and you were alien from the commonwealth of Israel. What 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 is common? All right, is 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 the people. Uh, 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 who come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? What What is the wealth? The wealth is this truth. All right, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and strangers from the covenants of promise. All right, what are those co covenants? What the Lord um, made agreements unto our forefathers, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, Yahushai, ye who sometimes were afar off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Alright? So now, because the Lord died on the cross for us, alright? Because we were all in Gentile state of mind before before we woke up to the truth. Now we can we're accepted back into the Commonwealth. All right. Um, did you have um, Did you have a quick scripture? Uh, yeah, okay. I have uh, Romans eleven and seventeen. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them takest part, partakest of the root and fatness of the olive tree, boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. Yeah, so that's talking about um, the, the nation, of, nation of Israel, all right? And, and some of the roots being broken up. But um, it also tells you in that, in that where, where is that, There's Romans 10? 11. Oh, 11? Okay. Mm -hmm. It also... Do you have one? There's more up top. Right? I read it at the bottom just to get the... Okay. Yeah. But there's, um, there's, there's also another point where it tells you... Where, where were you reading? I was reading at the 17th verse. 17th verse? Yeah. Okay. So read. Read, um, read from 19. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you finished at 18, right? Yeah. Yeah. So read down to... To, um, to 23. Okay. Verse 19. Thou wilt say then, the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief they were broken off, and thou standest by faith, be not high-minded, but fear. Yeah, so let's use the um, the time period of the Hellenization of the um, kingdom of, kingdom of uh, Judah, all right, during the Greek period, all right? Wasn't it because of the unbelief that they, that they were cut off? They went to go get license, all right? You can read this in First Maccabees. They went to go get license to do after the ordinance of the heathen, all right? So they got they got broken off. That's something that um, they chose, okay? And then their kids are, are, are being born, not knowing the full extent of what's really going on, and they're being taught these Greek customs, but they're Israelites, okay? Keep going. For if the Most High spared not the natural branches, branches, take heed less, he also spare not thee. Behold, therefore, the goodness and serenity of the Most High on them which fell, severity, but toward thee, goodness, if thou continue in goodness, otherwise thou also shall be cut off. Mm -hmm. And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in. For the Most High is able to graft them in again. Again, graft them in again. So, when was the when was these other nations ever with 
um, the nation of Israel. Never. Never ever. Alright, so who's it talking about? Who, who had that unbelief? Alright. Was these Israel was these Israelites who wanted who wanted to go off, alright, and sin from the Heavenly Father, or or, or, or they moved, alright, and then their children their children just woke up into these um other nations and chose to be to be like these other nations, alright? That's who it's talking about. That that's who has that unbelief, alright? Which the most high is able to graft them in again. Not no other nation who has never ever um, dealt with the most high. Alright. Yeah, 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 let's go. I have a quick scripture. Um, this is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you and because you would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. Alright. Um Yeah, so go back to um eleven? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep reading that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse twenty three, and they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in, for the most high is able to graft them in again. For if thou wert cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature into a good olive tree, how much more shall these, which be the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written, there shall come out of Zion the Deliverer, which is Yahawashai. So it's written that all, that all Israel is going to be saved, which is going to happen during, during, um, during the end of, of this kingdom, Esau's kingdom. All right? But one third, one third is going to make it into the new kingdom with the governing body of the 144,000. And the two thirds, all right, are going to be cut off on this side and come back in the kingdom, all right. But the Lord, the Lord, um, who you England called Jesus Christ, died, all right, and uh, for all Israel to be saved, okay. The elect, all right, first and foremost, but all Israel is going to be saved as it is written, all right, and that a deliverer shall come out of Zion, all right. And turn ungodliness from Jacob. That's what the scripture is saying. Alright. And how is that going to happen? That's going to happen in the kingdom. Alright. Because these Negroes and Hispanics and uh, Native Americans, they don't want to turn turn from it now. Alright. So this is only for the elect right now. Alright. So how so how how is it that we have it saying that the Lord is going to graft us in and then uh, again, alright. Because, um, because, um, okay, because 23 it says, And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in. For God is able to graft them in. Alright, and then now we're reading about um, um, Israel. Israel um, getting ungodliness turned from them. So that's, so that's what the whole grafting in process is. All right, is Israel being brought back together? All right, as a nation. All right. Yeah, keep going. Verse twenty-six. And so all Israel shall be saved, as is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins, as concerning the gospel. They are enemies for your sakes, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's so that's enough. 
on that. All right. Um, now let's go back to um, go back to uh, Luke. Luke 1 and 69, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath which he sware to our father Abraham that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the, the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life and thou child shalt be called the prophet of the highest for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins knowledge of salvation unto his people by remission of sins. <laughs> so it, it never said that he's going to go on to anybody else. Let's get Matthew 1, 1 and 21. You, 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 you. Yeah, you see it. You see it. I'll get it. Matthew 1 and 21. And then she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, the Hawashai, for he shall save his people from their sins. That's plain. All right, keep going. Verse 78. Through the tender mercy of our power, whereby the day, day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit and was in the deserts till the day of his showing unto Israel. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed and this taxing was First made. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! No no no! Oh. Yeah 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 yeah! No no no! That's some. That's, um, that's a different chapter. Yeah, that's yeah. a different chapter. Um, yeah. So um, let's get um. Matthew Matthew twenty six and twenty eight. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Twenty six and twenty eight. Matthews twenty six and twenty eight. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they have sung and him. They went out into the mountain of olives. They saith, Yahushai, unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night, for it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. Okay, so that's the scripture on uh, remission, all right? And, we're, uh, 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 and now, with all these scriptures, we're seeing that. This is um this is going on to the children of Israel, right? Um can you um can you get Ephesians two and um fourteen? Alright. So we're gonna continue there. 
right? And uh, and as you as you, as we read in Ephesians 11 down to 13, we see that the Gentiles in time past were Israelites, Israelite foreigners. All right, keep going. Ephesians 2 and 14, for he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of the partition between us. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity. Who, who, who is that? The, the, the enmity between the Most High and, um, and, and the nation of Israel. He's the mediator. Alright. Keep going. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of the commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. And that he might reconcile both unto the unto the unto the Most High in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. That's where the not, not a true that come out now. Um. So um. Romans five and um five and eight. This is Romans 5 and 8. But the Most High commandeth his love towards, towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Yahweh Shai died for us. No, yeah, 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 go, uh, yeah, read down to 10. Okay. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to the Most High by the death of his Son, which much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. You see that? You see that? Alright. So it sounds like this this is this is going straight for Israel. Alright? Let's get um Hosea. We gotta, we gotta understand what, what's going on here. Um, right. Um. This is Hosea one, and um, Yeah, one and one and five, and it shall come to pass at that day I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel, and she conceived again, and bore a daughter, and God said unto him, Call her name Lo Rahamin, for I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. So this, so, so this is the enmity that the Lord Yahweh Shai saved, all right? He's the mediator. He helped us go back onto the Most High. That's why when we pray, we have to say, um, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Because other than that, if we're trying to go to the Most High, then, yeah, then, yeah, it's not going true. It's not going true. And some, some men want to come up, oh, oh. Oh, the Most High told me this. The Most High told me this. If the Most High was dealing with you, all right, you you wouldn't be here, man. If you wouldn't be here, man, you'd be vapor and dust, all right. Because uh, our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. All right. You can read you can read the example when when um when Israel was asking Moses, oh, tell tell the Most High we want to deal with him, you know. And then, and then when you start coming down, when you start coming down now, some thunder, lightning, you know? Yeah, yeah. So if you want the most high to come down and deal with you, 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 you better prepare for, for for bodies to drop, man. All right? Man of war. Yeah. All right, so he's our mediator, all right? I don't know about you guys, but according to the scripture, we need a mediator. All you Old Testament guys want to hold on to the to the old testament and not believe in the new testament or not believe in the apocrypha 
You guys are gonna be destroyed. Alright? We got we gotta read the whole book, the old, the new, and the apocrypha. Alright? This is a this is a collection of, of the records of the Israelites. Alright? We gotta deal with the whole book. 1611 King James. Alright, keep going. Uh well actually it was me speaking. Uh reading. Um but I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and I will save them by the Lord their God. And I will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor by horsemen. Now when she had weaned, nor am she conceived again and bore a son. Then said God, call his name Lo-Amin, for ye are not a people and I will not be your God. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it is said unto them, ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. So that's where that's where we're coming in now. Well, how, 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 how can, how can, um, uh, we proclaim now that we're the sons of the, of, of the living Heavenly Father. Alright, Senor Dios for you Latin tribes. Alright, Father God. Alright, it's because of His Son, Yahweh. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of uh, Jezreel. Alright. Um, Okay. Um can you get um um uh Genesis forty nine Genesis forty nine and um Genesis forty nine where the part where it's going into Judah um Yeah forty nine eight? Yeah this is Genesis 49 and 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Mm -hmm. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. He couched, crouched as a lion. And yeah, as so, a okay, okay. So Judah is going into the, to the American Negroes. All right, and then it said that um, uh, he crouched uh, Judah's uh, old line, all right, because that's going into like during the time of the 60s where he raised up the other tribes, where, where it said that um, his, his, um, his, um, his, his fellow brethren shall bow unto, the, bow unto him, all right, because basically all the other tribes, they hate on, they hate on Judah, but they look up to Judah as well, all right. You know, and then that that's the curse. But when the Lord glorifies his people, Judah, Judah is gonna be set up in the in the right in the right position. Alright, so like during like the time of the sixties, um, let's say with the Black Panthers movement, alright, what came out after? Young Lords, alright, who are those? Those are Puerto Ricans from the tribe of Ephraim. What did you get? You got brown berets, alright, who are those? Those are Mexicans from the tribe of Issachar. Alright? You got the American uh, um, Indian movement. Who are those? Gad and Reuben. All right. Um, what else groups were out there? Um, Brown Berets. Um, you know, there's other there's other pl political groups. You know what I mean? And um, Native what, American movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mentioned yeah. American Native American movement. Benjamin had their um, their little. Um, <laughs> they're they're bugged out Rastafari mm -hmm. things, you know? Yeah, because some, they had a revolutionary spirit at that time, you know? So that's what was going on. Alright. Keep going. Couch as a lion and as an old lion who shall rose rouse him up. Yeah, the old, only the most high can rouse him up because what what had happened with all those with all those um, talks of revolution, it just rolled right over. All right, the Most High allowed the white man, Esau, the Edomites, 
to put uh, crack in the neighborhood and that thing fell right over. Now you got blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans killing each other over uh, dying bags of weed. Um, uh, a nigga just died. Um, um, that, that Meek Mill rapper guy, the 16 year old rapper, uh, died over a video game. Um, who was it? Um, Waka Flocka's um, uh, artist, uh, <laughs> artist Slim Duncan. He died over over a Jolly Rancher candy. You know uh, what, what else is going on? Niggas just dying all Sleeping over. Sleeping with another man's woman. A yeah. woman caused the problem. Shit. You know, whole whole neighborhoods at war for a woman is it's like Troy now. You know, shit's crazy. All right, keep going. Um, keep going. Verse 10, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from beneath his feet until Shiloh come. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be, binding his fowl unto the vine, and his ass his coat unto the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine, and his clothes in the blood of grapes. His eyes shall be red with wine. And his teeth white with milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then it's going into like uh, Zebulon now, right? Yeah. And then the word Shiloh means peaceable one. He's the one who's going to bring peace between us and the Most High. Alright? And, um, and and I have this scripture here. Um, it also proves that reincarnation is... Because uh, Solomon was known as being the peaceful king. Yeah, yeah. So it shows you that there is reincarnation there. Mm -hmm. Um, so Hosea, Hosea 8 and 11, um, yeah, go back to, um, to, to what we were reading again, was that, um, Ephesians? Yes, Ephesians, um, I think maybe, maybe you might have been a finisher at Ephesians. Yeah, we, we were finished, right? Yeah. In Ephesians, right? Uh, Um, well, you know what? Keep reading. Keep reading. Uh, you're you're at um, read sixteen again, and then um, and then uh, go down, go down. Yeah, sixteen. Okay. Um, but 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 let me read this first. Okay. So this is um, uh, um, Hosea eight and eleven because Ephraim had made many altars to sin altars shall be unto him to sin. All right, so, so, so what is that a lot of you Hispanics have in your house? You got an altar to, to a so-called uh, white Jesus, all right? Who ain't doing nothing, all right? He's still, Jose, Jose, you're praying to him 24 hours a day. Um, your, your, um, your son, Jose, is still selling crack, all right? Your, um, <laughs> Your, your your daughter Selena is still is still selling her pussy on the street, mm -hmm. all right. So what, what, you've been praying to the to, to the white Jesus for how long since since you were co colonialized, all right? And and the man still hasn't saved you. Still haven't. You know, um, you, you Latinos are the um are the number one Catholics in the world. Latin America is the number one um uh, Latin nation in the world. But all the hell you're catching. The Mosai still never came down. White Jesus never still came to come save you. All right, with all your followers, you have more than 144,000. How come the Lord never came to come save you yet? All right, because obviously you're into something that's wrong. All right, so those are the altars of sin. All right, you put food out for you put food out for a picture, you know, of, of, some, of some white white devil. All right. Some man named Caesar Bolger, all right. You can read about him, all right. His son was, I mean, his father was Alexander Bolger, okay. You can read the book Machiavelli. I have written to him, and who's he from? He from is, is, is the Puerto Ricans, the head of the the Latinos and um, and native tribes, okay. I have written to him. Who's that talking about? That's talking about Ephraim. The great things of my law, right? But they were accounted as a strange thing. Hey, so we're reading this thing. You might got some 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 bugged out um, Latino or Native man 
thinking that this is a strange thing, all right? You, you got Negroes out there who think that this is a strange thing as well, all right? But the most high is going to start dealing with you, man. Most high is going to start dealing with you Latin tribes and your and you, and you, um, you native tribes, man. And, and your Negroes ain't going to be left out, man. All right? Just like I said, uh, Judah, Judah, who's going who's gonna to rise them up? Who, know, who knows? Um, that guy, George Zimmerman, all right, which he's not, which he's not a Latino, all right? He's, um... Yeah, he's, uh, he's a tear. All right, his uh, his father was um, was a, was a Jewish person. All right, Zimmerman. All right, um, he might get off. All right, which I believe he might get off. He might get off, and and what Judah can Judah can rise up. The Most High can put it in their mind to rise up, and, and what martial law starts. All right, and the white man gets to do what what he wants to do to you um, to you Latin tribes. And you Negroes, man. All right, and you natives. All right, he's gonna roll up on your reserves and your ghettos and your barrios, man. All right, and take your and take your children away like he did before. All right. <clears throat> they sacrifice flesh for the sacrifices of mine offerings. All right, and eat it. All right. Yeah, so that's even all going into the to, to the sacrifices. That uh, some of our people are doing, man. All right? They're being very wicked. All right, and, and, and you got niggas in the street like, oh, 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 only Lord can judge me, or um, you know, they, they they pray before they go kill a nigga over some crack or some shit. You know, Lord help me. You got you got niggas writing rhymes, oh, um, Lord willing, Lord willing, I can sell keys. Or some shit like that. Lord, you know, you know, so, so, that's, so, that's, so that's the thing that they have. All right, but the but the Lord accepted them not. Now will He remember their iniquity and visit their sins? They shall return to Egypt. So you guys are gonna be into that bugged out philosophies, man. That's why a lot of you Latinos and natives are in bugged out philosophies, man. All right, worshiping birds and shit. All right. For Israel have forgotten his maker and builded temples, and Judah had multiplied fenced cities, but I will send a fire upon his cities, and it shall devour the palaces thereof. So it sounds like the Lord is angry with Israel. All right. So what, so what had to happen? We had to have a savior to come save us from our enemies, which which tells you that in um, in Luke the first chapter, all right, and we needed someone, all right, to bring peace between us and the Most High, all right, Senor Dios, Father God, all right. So um, what do you have again? Finish the one you got. Yeah, yeah. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Yeah. So it's Ephesians 2 and 16, mm -hmm. and that he might recon reconcile both unto the Most High in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and come and preach peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints, and of the household of the Most High and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Yahweh Shai himself being the chief corner store, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of the Most High through the Spirit. All right. Um. Yeah, 11 and 26, can you get Acts 11 and 26? Okay. This is Acts 11 and 26. And when he had found him, 
he brought him unto Antioch, and it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people, and the disciples were called Christians, first in Antioch. So, so what, what nationality were, were the um, were the disciples? They're Israelites, all right. So that's so that's shown. Can you get can you get back um Luke Luke one? Okay. Uh, where, 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 where did you leave off again? We finished this. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we finished that. Yeah. Can you get um? Can you get Galatians? Galatians four. Galatians four. Yeah. Can you get Galatians four and one? This is Galatians 4 and 1. Now I say that there, the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of us all, Lord of all, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the Father. Even so, we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, the Most High sent forth His Son, made of a woman made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And because ye are sons, the Most High has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So who, who, who is under the law? Who is the law given to? Can you get Psalms 140, uh, 147 and 19? Okay. This is Psalms 147 and